Hi guys, my name is Jordan. I'm a freelance filmmaker and video editor. And today I'm quickly gonna go over how I organize leading up to a Premiere project, all my files and folders and what that all looks like. I'm not the best at organization, but a couple people asked me what I do and how I organize files and folders and stuff. Um, so if that helps you, then I would be happy to share what I do. So uh, let's dive right in and let's get organized. So the first thing we're actually gonna do isn't even in Premiere, uh, it's on our computer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our fastest drive and we're gonna choose a location that we like and we're gonna create a new folder that's just the name of our project. So for us, let's go organization uh, project YouTube. Cool. Uh, so now everything that we do from here on out is gonna end up in this folder. Uh, that does a couple things. One, it just keeps things nice and uh, tight together and organized so that you know that if you're working on something from this project, it's gonna be in this folder. Uh, the other thing is that if you need to move things around on your computer uh, and change maybe to a new hard drive or things get shifted around, uh, Premiere will easily be able to tell where all of your footage is. And you, even if things get uh, unlinked, then you only have to link one thing back up and then Premiere will realize that everything else is in the same order. Uh, so as long as you know where this folder is, you're never gonna have a problem with uh, unlinked media or media offline or any of those terrible things that uh, if you're a video editor, you hate when that message pops up. So now that we're in this folder, we're gonna create a couple of different subfolders for different um, aspects of what we're gonna create. So first thing we're gonna do is gonna create a Premiere uh, project folder and in here is where we're gonna save all of our Premiere projects um, that have to do with this, or any versions or any new save as files that have to do with this specific project. Uh, we're gonna create a video footage. We're gonna create, maybe you do some screen capture work. So screen capture, maybe you're a gamer and you wanna do a gaming video. Uh, if you create your audio separately, audio, maybe you have stills or you wanna have some like reference frames, so stills. And then lastly, maybe you do dynamic linking uh, with Adobe After Effects, so After Effects uh, projects. Cool. So now this is how I organize everything, and this is what I do before I even get into Premiere, just so that when I have footage or stills or if I need to create something on the side, I know where it goes and I can easily just drag and drop it in. Uh, so let's say, for example, that we have this all set up and we have our footage. I'm just gonna grab some from a previous project that I was working on and drag it in there. And then whenever I take this and drag it into Premiere, it will keep everything in the same orientation and have, even if there's more folders in there, it'll have all the subfolders uh, laid out in the same way as well. So it just keeps everything nice and organized and nice and neatly arranged the way I like it. So now that we've figured that out, let's dive into Premiere and I wanna go over the next piece of kind of organization that I do and that's uh, naming your project. Uh, and this can be really helpful if you do it a certain way. So we're gonna create a new project and name it whatever you want, uh, something that's gonna be easy to remember and helpful in case you need to search for it. Uh, organization video YouTube, cool. Uh, we're gonna find the folder that we just created and organization and Premiere projects folder and we're gonna save it here. Now this next piece here is something that has helped me out a lot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just tack on to the end of the name here, uh, six digits and that's gonna uh, coordinate to the year, month and day that you are working on this project. So for us, that is right now 170113. 2017, the first month, was, which is January, and then the 13th day, which is January the 13th. Um, so a lot of people will do something like month, day, year, or uh, day, month, year. You can do whatever you want, but honestly, I find that whenever you're working with a computer and saving files, the year, month, day is so much more effective because when you have a rollover to a new year, uh, like we had just a couple weeks ago, then things don't get shifted around and jumbled because the year is the first priority. And this goes another step further uh, when we actually uh, get into our Premiere project here. When you work on the project for multiple days and maybe it's taking a long time to finish this project, you're gonna wanna make multiple save as files in case, I don't know, one of them gets corrupted or something goes wrong or in case you need to go back to a previous version because something needs to be changed and you didn't realize it until after the fact and all these things. So it can be really helpful just to have a new save as file. They only take up like a couple kilobytes, so it's really no reason not to. So let's say, for example, you worked on it the 13th, you went to bed, you come back on the 14th and you're like, I'm gonna work on it some more. You wanna save as, go command, uh, sorry, control shift S or command shift S if you're on a Mac uh, and you're just gonna change one little number and that's the four 
It's gonna make it January the 14th. You're gonna save. And what that does is when you open up those files again, you have the you have the project that you worked on on the 13th, then you have the project that you worked on on the 14th. And if you keep doing this, maybe you're working on something for a couple weeks, then you always have uh, backups from the previous day. And let's say, for example, that you have a client that you're working with and you send them a couple versions and then all of a sudden you realize, no, I actually liked what you did two days ago. And that's actually happened to me before when they're like, no, we actually like what you did before. Uh, then you have those files ready to go and you can go back and be like, okay, well, I haven't lost it. I don't have to reconstruct all that work. I'll just go back to that day and start from there onwards. It can be really helpful. Uh, the other piece is that maybe you forget, for example, what you named the file and where you located it. Uh, if that happens, then what you can do is you can search for the day that you worked on it. You're like, I know I worked on it this day. So 17, 01, 14. And look, there we go. It's right there. Then your computer tells you I found it. You go file, open location, and then you know, okay, that's where I saved it. It can be a really helpful tool just to have the six digits for the date at the end of your projects. And if you do that for you know three different projects, even if you're working on those three different projects on the same day, they're not gonna cross over, or interfere with each other because they're coming at the end of a different title. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like when you drag an example uh, in there, uh, just how Premiere keeps everything organized. So this is a project that I was working on before. Drag everything else in uh, except for the Premiere files because that's what we're working on. And so there we go. Now you can see that all of our file folders are located and laid out the same way that they were on our computer. Just keeps everything nice and organized and makes it really easy to work with. So now all our stuff is set up and organized, we can actually start editing. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. That's how I keep all my files and footage and uh, Premiere projects organized before even working on uh, a project. Um, if this was helpful, or if you guys liked it, or if you found it interesting, uh, feel free to give a like and maybe consider subscribing. Um, if you didn't like it, or if maybe you thought uh, I didn't do something or didn't go over something that you would have preferred me to, leave a comment and uh, I'll see if I can make that in a future video. But yeah, thanks guys, appreciate you stopping by and uh, I hope to see you next time.